A leader shift in foreign exchange scarcity, the Central Bank of Nigeria's lifting of its ban on sourcing of forex from official market for the importation of 43 items pleased the business community but raises some questions. The Apex Bank announced that it was raising dollar supply to the market and freeing importers to obtain forex from the official window. While its advocates have strong arguments justifying the unbanning, critics, however, threat over some items on the list. The decision of the central bank uh, to lift the ban on 43 items signifies a major step in resolving Nigeria's forex crisis as most critics have called on the CBN on the MFLA to lift it. However, some of the items remain on the list uh, of the ban and uh, customs uh, list rather and it is unclear if they will be funded for forex purchases. It is also unclear how much demand this will drive to the official INE window and if the central bank has the capacity to meet this demand in the short term until liquidity returns as it is claimed. On the show today, we'll keep our eye on the CBN's willing buyer, willing seller's principle. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadone. Just before we get into the discussion proper, Nigerian government and businesses have been urged to keep an eye on the rising wave of a new variant of populism among the youth as it could upend both government and businesses. This call was made during the public presentation of the distillation edition of the periodic report of a public relations and communication consulting firms in Lagos. Details in this report. public presentation of the distillation edition of a periodic report known as the Neuroscience of Nigerian Youth, Trends and Culture report fitting the theme, a reminder. It is about the rising wave of a new variant of populism amongst the youth. According to the organizers, the rise of this new variant is challenging for governments and businesses all over the world. Chief Strategist, Chain Reaction Africa, Israel Okwayemi, believes that the businesses and the present administration must make diligent efforts to study and understand the trend. Why are we tracking trends? Why are we tracking culture? There is a saying that culture will eat strategy for breakfast. No matter how intelligent the people in government are, unless they understand the imagine and the extant cultures within their own jurisdiction, then their policies are bound to fail. Okwayemi explained that the mystic surrounding behavioral evolution within the youth's population can be perplexing unless intentionally studied and understood by those responsible for policy and business decision making in government and the side of businesses. Of the trends we've discussed in there today has been the Afrivas, which has to do with the rising sentiment, the rising consciousness, the Afrocentric, you know, sentiment amongst you know Nigerian youth. And examples were given that even government, even in naming your policies, even in naming your programs, name them in such a way that the Nigerian youth can hone them, can feel that this belongs to us. Not giving policies foreign names. Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Omotosho, and his counterpart from the Ministry of Youth and Social Development, Mobolaji Ogunledi, who represented the Lagos State Governor and his deputy, affirmed the importance of the youth population in the society. For us in government, it's a very big lesson that we need to find a way to uh, the kind of language that we used to talk to our young people. We need to find our serves in their space so that whatever they we need to do for us to improve as a, a government as a community of people who understand what the future means to young people that we need to do it it's all about engagement engagement in the sense that um when they come when the youth come out to protest or or rise to an occasion it's all they are fighting for justice. Uh, they are, we are fighting for uh, for our voices to be heard. So we just need to ensure that the people who are supposed to hear are hearing, right? And they are acting on it. They have to be proactive instead of reactive. 
They, however, cautioned the Gen Z not to jettison the old in the craze for metaverse and preoccupation with the realm of alternate reality. My advice is that our young people should try to have a marriage of the old and the new. Because in the old you find wisdom, in the old you find uh, uh, self-regulation, uh, apart from what's as different from what people see now as a license for attitude of I can do whatever I, can, I like. The distillation edition of the report focused on five other key trends, namely Afriverse, which captures the rise of Afrocentric consciousness amongst Nigerian youths and Ego Beta, among others. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News.